Hello Instagram and the world. This is Jonathan Melendrez. I am uh, I am a professional ballroom dancer. I'm a wedding choreographer and a winner of the not 2017, 2018, and 2020. Uh, today, uh, oh, first of all, I want to remind everybody that uh, we do these uh, these live streams uh, Mondays and Fridays at 12 o'clock. And uh, we're doing it for the wedding industry to let all the people know that there's so many craft, crafty people out there that are excellent at what they do and uh, they really need to be highlighted more often. Uh, I do want to offer uh, my services, my streamlined services to any other professionals that, um, that want to get on and talk about uh, what they do. I would love to hear from you. So uh, please call. Uh, or 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 jump in, uh, or you can text me or di dis di uh, direct direct message me and let me know you're interested. Love to hear from you. Uh, we're going to be interviewing today a uh, a hairdresser, uh, a hairstylist uh, who is fantastic uh, in the world of wedding wedding hair and uh, getting brides ready uh, for their big day. But before we do that, I do want to bring in a good friend of mine. Uh, this woman, Angela Neron Shoes, she got, she has these fantastic, beautiful shoes that are the most comfortable to wear during the day. Neron! Hey, John. How are you doing? Awesome. You look great. Long time, thanks. Long time no see. I love the headband <laughs> that you're wearing. Well, I think today you're going to be talking with a gentleman uh, I think it's a gentleman about styling hair for weddings. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. yes. So, we're talking. We're going to be talking to. Uh, uh, we'll be talking to D. Ernesto. Ernesto. Awesome. D. Ernesto Beauty Salon. Awesome. Beauty Lounge. Awesome. Yeah, Beauty Lounge. There you go. So I, I put this in my hair because, um, first of all, uh, you know, I've been in this industry for quite some time, and I know that women are doing all kinds of different things with their hair for wedding styling. And for the last couple of years, headbands have been a real big thing, very much on trend for the women that don't want to wear, uh, you know, a full blown tiara. So I don't know, I just thought I had a little bit of fun and uh, I've got some things hanging around the house. So voila, I dressed up for you, John. <laughs> you are awesome. I feel so happy. Thank you. <laughs> well, with that- See, they're online. They were wonderful earlier today talking about the uh, wedding photography services. Yes, Tracy, Tracy Ann and Martin. And Martin. Photo. They are fantastic mm -hmm. people. Uh, and I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad they were able to spare some time for me today. So yeah, without, without delay, I want to bring out uh, D. Ernesto Beauty Lounge. This guy is awesome. He's got a great personality. I'm going to cut you off here, and then I'm going to bring him right on. Okay? Okay. But don't go too far. Stay on. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find Ernesto. I think he's gonna do it. I think he's here. Ernesto, come in, Ernesto. Okay, so let me remind everybody, D. Ernesto Beauty Lounge is his, uh, is his home on, Inst on Instagram. So I just want to invite him in. Hopefully he can uh, come in here. We're waiting on him here. Uh, and um, let me uh, uh, promote his business again, D. Ernesto Beauty Lounge. Uh, he does hair. I just spoke to him a little while ago. He has, uh, he has a few things that he wants to show us. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, get him on here. We're waiting for D. Ernesto Beauty Lounge. Uh, Mondays and Fridays at noon. Uh, we do this web stream, and um, uh, we do it twice a week so that everybody know uh, what kind of what kind of pros are available out there. Okay, let's see if we can bring them back in again. Maybe it failed the first time, so we're waiting for him. Uh, he there, there he is. <laughs> How hey. you doing, man? How are you? Awesome. You so, look great. Thank you. I feel great. <laughs> yeah? Excellent. I have a well, little stand clean. here for the phone, and I was too low. I need to get <laughs> something higher. That's so funny. 
I thought it was already. See, the one that I have here is too low. Yeah. Okay, so while we do so, that, I, I, I thought that just, you, is she going to be in too? Yeah, I'm going to bring Neron in uh, in a little bit. But um, I was just talking about uh, stalling and talking about your, your Instagram uh, channel. Uh, and if these people, if everyone's got a chance to go to uh, his Instagram page. Uh, he's got great pictures, beautiful hair, and uh, beautiful people. They, you have great before and after photos. Uh, I love seeing that. That's just amazing. Uh, you, you, you do hair for men. You obviously do hair uh, for brides, too. So I know in this whole world of COVID-19, and it's a whole new world, it's a whole new business, um, how are you staying safe? How, how are you coping your business in this world right now? I've been quarantined for the last few months, but uh, finally I, I started working last week. And of course, I've been very busy last week. Everybody's trying to, to get in here and look at major roots, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of gray hairs. Uh, the bad thing about the COVID-19, I had three wedding cancellations. Oh. So that sucked. I had one that I was getting married next month, actually. And, so she had to cancel. We already had tried the makeup and the hair and everything. We were just ready to go and it was canceled. And then another one that I was going to get married in November, she canceled also the wedding. They, they postponed until next year. Oh. So that's, that's what's going on. But uh, hey, life goes on, right? So Yeah, life goes on and we just have to adapt. And I tell you, you're going to have to adapt, you know, in order to survive, we got to adapt, right? Plus, we're safe and we're healthy. That's all. It, that's all it matters. Safe and healthy. Yes. And just like taking care of ourselves and making sure that we take care of, care of the community. And just like yeah. Quarantine and like all my clients that are coming now, they have to wear a mask. I wear a mask yeah. and I'm working with them. I um, they have to wash their hands with soap and water. They said that the best is soap and water. I clean the station. I'm like. Uh, clean everything before they come. After I'm done with them, I have to disinfect all the stations, clean the floors, be ready for the next one. I'm taking only one client at a time. Well, this one is client one, at a time. One client at a time. I don't want. Uh, yeah. Many yeah, we all need to stay safe right now. Yes, and it's and not and worth. If it. They come earlier. They need to just. They need to wait in their car or until I'm done with the next client, so they feel comfortable. And of course, it has to. Now, um, I, I, I see your Instagram uh, pictures and all the work that you've done. Uh, I, you know, I'm not a bride. Uh, I don't, you know, uh, I don't know what's involved in the process of um, doing well, hair for a bride. I mean, how do, how, how do you start the process? The okay, process? this is what's happening. Some women are very, like, they start planning a year in advance. They already know what they want with their hair. They don't really know what they want with their dress and everything. And they're very well organized. So they find the hairdresser in advance and they make sure that they booked at least six months before. Yeah. Some other brides, they wait for the last minute, maybe a month before. To me, the best thing to, to it would be like three months before the wedding, start thinking about the hair. Really? You start trying your makeup. You go to a place, you have to make sure that the brides, they have to make sure that the person that they're going to do the makeup, they have that connection, personal yeah. connection, and also that they feel very comfortable with what they're doing with their hair. Wow. So remember, this is most of the girls. It's like one time event for them. Yeah. Unless they're Liz Taylor, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. I mean, the first is, is your wedding, and it's the big day, the day that you've been dreaming since you were a little girl. So that day has to be very, very special. It has to be that you feel beautiful, you feel like a movie star, you feel like a princess. So they have to have that relationship with the makeup artist, with the hairdresser. A lot of them, they weigh in the, the last minute, and uh, so they have a lot of a lot of brides that I heard of stories about not being happy with their hair, with the makeup, and it was miserable, and it was like, and they have to try the hair. I, like, I mean, I say, if you're gonna change, 
hair color, so anything at least three months before. You do all those things before. Don't wait until the last minute to change color to get uh, different haircuts, different different styles. Just like be ready. Or some clients, some like some brides, they like they plan ahead in advance, like they see the hair what they want, and they're like, okay, I want my hair to look like this in one year. So it's a process yeah. that they start letting it grow, and they start it's like all of them is like very different. But to me, yeah. the best thing is like at least three months in advance, you already have that is going to do your hair and your makeup. And I'm, I'm getting a question here. Uh, Angela Naran Shoes is asking a hair trial with headpiece to make sure the hairstyle works with tiara or a headband. Um, before you answer that, uh, uh, I do a lot of work with uh, EdenLuxBridal.com, and she sells uh, crowns and tiaras. Uh, for the brides to put in the hair. So uh, how do you deal with hair accessories, hair pieces, headbands, uh, all of that? So, yeah, the, the girls, like, one of my questions, my main questions is like, okay, show me this, uh, let me see the dress that you're going to wear and the hair piece. And if they don't have a hair piece and they ask me for suggestions, I would give them to them, depending on their personality. Some of them, they like something very casual. Some of them, they want something very dramatic or very, some of them, they want natural flowers. Some of them, they want just uh, the veil. Everybody's different. So it's how, do you, different. how do you get it to stick into their hair? Because they're going to be moving around and dancing. Yes, yes, yes. They, they, they with, with bobby pins and uh, a lot of bobby pins, uh, rubber bands to be ponytails or whatever. Like I have a one of these, I have this sample here. Oh yes, let's take like a look. A summer, summer, summer bride. Like if she's getting married on the beach, and they, they want some curls. So this is very, very easy for them to, to work with. Cause he's not gonna, he's not gonna. Yeah. He's gonna stay for, for the beach, for the wind. Uh, or if they want more casual, they want something more casual. Hi, hi, Calista. A lot of tiaras. Right. Right. This is more, more elegant. Right. And a lot of a lot of the girls now they they want their hair down. Some of them they want halfway up, halfway down. Most of them they like putting it up in the front and down in the back with the waves with the curls. Right. So they like loose waves now. It's very trendy. Loose waves like very uh very what is the word that i'm looking for vintage. vintage vintage you know for for the people who are just joining uh the the live stream i want to invite you to ask some questions uh to ernesto because he's been how long have you been doing hair i've been doing hair for more than 30 years <laughs> wow so this is not more your first rodeo years. okay i went to beauty school at 16 let's put it that way and I had, in my first jobs, I was working in a salon where we all the, the only thing that we were doing, it was bridal hair and makeup. We were doing brides, beauty queens, uh, models. Um, what else were we doing? Uh, beauty pageants. We were like big when beauty queens. So yeah, I was, I used to do a lot, a lot of updos and a lot of makeup back then in, in my hometown in Colombia. Colombia. Hey, yeah, <laughs> Colombiano, wepa. Si, 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 si. <laughs> so, well, that's great. So tell, uh, so, um, uh, so do you have to? You were just talking about how to get the accessories to stay on your head, because I, I know dealing with, t you know, certain he head pieces that they have these little circles at the end of the of the tiara or the crown. So yes, you put bobby maybe. pins in there to bobby, make them stay? Yeah, that's, that's what you do. Well, some of them, the, like this tiara, they come with a comb. Let me see if I can get it. So these ones, they have a comb. Oh, look at that. Right, right, right. Now, do you go to the venue to do the bride's hair, or do they come to you? How do you, um, how do you Most of that? them, yes. Most of them, they're more comfortable at the, like, at the hotel where they stay. Usually, they stay in a hotel. And they, for the night before they stay in a hotel and I go to the hotel, do the hair and makeup and 
usually we do the bridal uh, bridal group. I mean, it's the mother, the sister, the brides, the bridemaids. Sometimes we end up doing 10, 12 people wow. for the wedding. I have a few people that work with me for special events. Right. If it's only the bride, I just go by myself. The brother, I mean, if it's the bride and the mother and the sister, I take an assistant. So right. To make it, yes. But. Well, are, are they all nice people to deal with or? or, or they're they... that sometimes they, 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 yeah, the mothers, they get nervous. So the mothers are the ones that get like, oh, we have to go. Oh. So I'm like, okay, you want me to do your hair first and your makeup? So you're ready and you can start doing other stuff. So like to get her out of the room. So the bride <laughs> come and relax. And uh, the, the bride's the one that to me, the most important is that the bride the, is the main. That oh, that's fantastic. That my buddy, my, my, my friend Ramfis just joined the room. So, so I, I know that uh, hair is a big thing. And, uh, you know, being at the dance studio, everyone's talking about hair. So uh, what kind of dance tips can you, can you give to some of these, uh, the brides that are going to be um, getting married or, or not necessarily brides, but just overall uh, hair tips, hair care tips. Hair, the hair you... care. Yeah, like, I mean, like the brides, when I'm doing the, the bridal's hair, I always ask them, move your hair, pretend yeah. that you're dancing, move it. So just to make sure that the head is not moving, that is nothing is falling, that's that. Oh, that's great. We just got a question from, uh, from Hair by Callista. Uh, does Ernesto do hair trial for the bride? Yes, yes, they, that's the, the main thing. That's always recommend before the wedding, they need to come for the trial. They have What's to, involved in the trial? In the trial, they come and we have the conversation, we have the consultation. What is it that, what is the look that, first of all, well, how do you want to look? You want to look like a beauty queen. You, you want to look natural. You want to look uh, made up. You want fake lashes, you want some of them because everybody's so different. Yeah. I mean, it's like everybody's so totally different. I've done clients that they want, oh, I want fake eyelashes and I want this and I want it very dramatic and I want some of them, they're like, I want to look very natural, like I don't have any makeup at all. I just want to look beautiful. So it's like everybody is different. So that's why it's very important to have a consultation and have a trial before. Sometimes right. they do a trial and they go out at night and then they meet friends and then they call me, okay, let's do another try. Let's do it a little stronger this time or let's do it softer. And so sometimes until they get the, what they want, because some of them, they, they, they get the trial and they go out. So yeah. they get feedback from friends, from the boyfriend, from the fiance, or from the family. Or, so that's, that's how sometimes they base what they want. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Are, there, are there any uh, hair trends, you know, th coming up? Anything that you see down the pike that is going to be more popular for brides or uh, just regular? Yeah, right now, a, lot of, a lot of what's going on is a lot of the, the old chignon. I don't have a picture with me now, but I can post it in my, in my website, in my Instagram okay. account. I can post like five different styles. The, sure. Also, the, the waves, waves, soft waves are very in. It used to be like a few years ago, three, four years ago, it was a lot of curls. Now it's more waves. So oh, really? very natural. And uh, like, a, like a, to the one, to one side of French, French braids, but very big, loose French braids are very in also. Right. Very like messy Bright, bright braids are brain also. No, they so, keep it in the tie braids. So it's... Do, do, do trends come back again? Or, or do yes, they... yes, yes. Everything, everything all comes back. Right now, we, we're seeing a lot of the, from 20 years ago, they're coming back from, from the 80s. They come back, but they come modified, just a little different, but it's pretty much basically what we used to do. Now, so, what about the mullet? Because... Uh, I'm wearing a hat because I haven't got my hair cut yet. I've been... No, I've the been... mullet, no, no, no. Maybe for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> Tiger King, yes. 
that's gonna be my Halloween costume. <laughs> so yeah, I get a happy molly. <laughs> I've been practicing. I have a, I have a week somewhere that I'm going to. Uh, Let's my... see it. I have this wig that I'm going to fix to into a molly for Halloween. I used to have a wicked mullet back in the day. Oh my god! So it's gonna be more like a mullet here. Oh, look at that! That's cool. And then, and then I'm gonna bleach it and just like a Tiger King type of stuff for Halloween. <laughs> I, already, I already downloaded the pictures and I'm working in the outfit. I'm like, yes, that's, that's gonna awesome. be me. Anyway, let's go back to the. <laughs> See, I get that old for uh, a question. So I, gonna, uh, I have some questions for you also. Oh, you do? Yes, yes, I have a questions. Well, throw them, throw them to me, man. Throw them, yes, I wrote some questions for you. So, um, I have a question. Oh, about the, 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 your work. Do you have examples of your work? Or? Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because. Um, Yes, I do have examples of my work. I have examples on my work uh, on YouTube. If you typed in Jonathan Melendres on YouTube, um, you'll see some of the wedding choreography that I've done. And I encourage people to go because a lot of people uh, don't know what to expect from a wedding dance, you know, their first dance. You know, this is, this is their first dance as husband and wife, husband and husband, wife and wife. So, so these people don't have an idea of what's going to happen. So thank you for bringing that up. I want to, you know, draw attention to my YouTube channel so they can see what a simple dance routine looks like. You know, something medium difficult and, and something that's over the top, like dancing with the stars. And how, how long in advance they have to start uh, preparing for the dance? You know, uh, I say three, I, I, I say three months. I say three months and you know, whether you have experience or whether you don't have experience, um, I always say, you know, three months. That's what I prefer, three months. And, uh, you know, you're going to come in a couple of times during the week. You know, uh, you know, this is a wedding dance. This is going to be something that's a, truly a highlight for uh, the couple and the event. Everyone's going to, everyone's looking for two things in a wedding. Hair, what, what's her hair going to be like? And two their first dance. So uh, the trend now is everyone's having a first dance. Everybody's having a first dance. And I always recommend three months. Sometimes I don't get it. <laughs> Sometimes I get a week. Hey, John, I'm getting married next week and uh, I need a dance. I'm like, oh, geez, a week, huh? <laughs> some people, I'm telling you, some people, they wait until the last minute for, for everything. I was gonna, last night I was thinking about also the shoes. Like if they practice, do they need to bring the shoes that they're going to wear at the wedding? Yes, yes. Thank you for bringing that up because shoes are so important. Uh, you know, when it comes to wedding shoes, I always talk, I always refer them to Angela Neron shoes. But for their lessons, I, I ask them to bring in their wedding shoes, the shoes that they're going to dance in or something similar. Yeah. Because you can't go out and do a dance performance on shoes that you have never worn before. Exactly. That's what I was thinking last night. I said, I wonder if they, if I was me, I would bring my shoes that I'm going to wear that day. So yeah. I'm, I'm used to it and I'm comfortable. I mean, what about if I rehearsal three months and the dance is perfect and then I go on and put those shoes and they slip or they, and they're different and I don't feel comfortable or they're too tired. I'm like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I tell them to bring in, you know, a lot of times I'll ask them to bring in a, a gown that's similar to uh, what they're going to wear. You know, they're not going to bring in the gown that they're going to wear for the wedding, but I'll ask them something, you know, bring in like a, a long dress or something that they can practice with. But definitely shoes is a must. They need to bring in their shoes uh, to do that. Absolutely. That's but Naran nice. says cake. Cake is an important thing, too. Everyone wants to know what kind of what kind of cake it is. I've seen so many amazing cakes out there. I know. I I've seen those on t those TV shows when they have those cakes and all elaborate cakes. I'm like, wow, that's a, like a whole masterpiece. Also, that's yeah, that's yeah. There's one thing I love to eat: cake and chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, no cake. I like. It. <laughs> 
Oh, it's good. I have another question for you. Yeah. Oh yes. How often do you? How often do you do you uh, do you rehearsal? The, I mean, how many brides do you get? How many couples do you? Uh, I get. Um, I get. Uh, well, I tell you, since I've won Best of the Knot three years consecutively, I've been getting more and more wedding couples to come in. So I'll usually work with two or three uh, brides or couples. Uh, a week so I do I do a lot of wedding couples for sure oh. and um, I tell you this is uh, uh, wedding dance wedding dance lessons is uh, it's important because not only do they get to have a first dance choreographed sp specifically for their talents and their abilities but I'll tell you Ernesto it really brings out their relationship and how they deal with one another you know, at these moments, you know, some people will just go crazy and yell at their spouse and another <laughs> spouse will yell at them. And sometimes I feel not like I feel like a referee or a couple. Yes, therapist. Yes. I, I, I can imagine the dynamic so different for. Yeah, I didn't. I don't get to see that. I get to see only the bride. So I don't get to see the. the oh, lady. yeah. Yeah. I, I ask them to come in all, as often as they can during the week because they really need to practice. Yeah. It's muscle memory. They just need to do it over and over and over again. What about the, 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 the father daughter dance? Do you do that too? Oh, the father daughter dance. I love it. Yes, I do that. And I also do mother son dances too. Thank you for bringing that up. I'll tell you, those are uh, so heartwarming. Uh, and people in the crowds just cry. It's such a touching moment uh, that a mother and father or, um, you know, daughter, father, daughter dance. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. I see that hair by Calista had a, a comment. She said that maybe they should practice with the hairpiece or tiara in. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That I, I, a lot of times I'll ask them to bring that in, you know, so that, so that they can practice with it because yeah, if they're sense. doing a layout or if their head is back, you yeah. know, it's going to fall and we can't hear that. And that's when I, I tell them, listen, you know, your hairstylist, you got to you communicate with your hairstylist because if you're going to wear that for your dance, you really need to practice with it and practice how it's going to stay on your head. Last thing you want is have that fall off. Yes, yes. <laughs> I can't imagine. Got it. Well, I the hair <laughs> they, they would hate me, trust me. They wouldn't be happy with me. That happens. <laughs> Staple gun. Ernesto is not the best tool. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of glue to keep it on, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you're staying safe with this COVID thing, wearing masks? Yes, yes. I'm like, stay away from everybody. Yeah. I saw in the news that the beaches and the restaurants are getting crazy. I'm like, I'm staying away from all of that. Yeah. I used to dance with uh, Callista, Hair by Callista. Mm -hmm. we've, we've competed and done many shows back in the day. Oh, okay. And I used to spin her uh, crazy. And mm -hmm. like she's saying here, her ponytail would just fall out. And I'll tell you, <laughs> You know, getting whipped in the face with women's hair, it's not comfortable. No. It hurts. You've been, a, you've been a dancer for how long? Just like I, me? Just like you. <laughs> I, I, my first dance job I got when I was uh, 16. Oh. And I couldn't believe how much they were paying me at the time. I'm like, 16? Wow. To teach quick, quick, slow? So I've done it. It came easy to me. I done before I before I did uh, ballroom. I did jazz. I did ballet. Uh, one because it was I could do it, and two because of girls. Yeah, girls love guys that dance. Yes, 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 they do. Yeah, and they, I, they I think can, if you're a good dancer, you're very popular in the party. Yes, and it's you know what? Now, now, that we, now that we bring that up, I think I'm going to make a, a video on just that. Why? men need to dance yeah it's, it's like i i get pop I, i'm very popular when i go to the parties i and i used to get invited to a lot of parties a lot of parties oh come to a party all my friends my cousins my all my girlfriends are going to be there let's go come and 
Of course, they, they wore me out. <laughs> and Neuron, Neuron that, wants to know if you like, dance. Neuron yes, wants a, to know if you dance. I'm a very good dancer. <laughs> I bet you are. 25 years ago, Callista and I used to dance. I was her first dance partner 25 years ago. Good God, Callie, please don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I should oh go to the God. studio and take some. Hang up now. <laughs> I should go to your studio and take some dancing lessons. Well, you know what? You know what? I tell you, yes, yes. When we're ready to open full blast, please come in. You know, right now with this COVID nine thing going around. Yes, yes, um, yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know there's some ballrooms and studios want to open, but um, you know, you still have to follow the guidelines that CDC is yeah, offering because. Yeah, it's not worth, you know, it's not worth dying, catching COVID and dying. It's just not worth it. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No, no. So, you know, when we do open up a uh, full blast, you know, we're going to have our masks. Um, yeah, social to me, distancing. Exactly. Is that the way I see it? It's not just you, but it's a big responsibility with yourself, with your family, with your community. It's yeah. not just about you. It's about yeah. the whole community. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what it is. Like now, I, I, I know that you're a busy guy here. I don't want to hold up uh, you too much. I want to thank you for your time here, Ernesto. Okay. And I want to really encourage everyone to go to, uh, to, go to your, your Instagram, your Instagram page. Come on, with my girlfriend here. <laughs> my, my future bride. <laughs> my, my two brides. You're two brides. <laughs> You're lucky guy. <laughs> okay, buddy. So, so if anybody wanted to contact you, uh, how do you recommend that? Is there a special way that you'd like to be contacted? Yes, I mean in the in the in my Instagram account, there's a, I think it's my phone number, but my website connects to my website. Yes. And usually they they basically the first time they call the shop, and once they come, I give them my cell phone number, and then. Because most of my clients, they call me in my cell phone. Okay, so well, should we? A lot of them, they text me. Can you see me Thursday at 5? Or can you see me for the bridals? Uh, it's better. They, 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 we do the consultation first. Yeah. Yeah, but should they, we? They the salon. Do you have a, a, a phone number that you want to give everybody right now? Or do you want to just refer them to your Instagram? Yes, I mean, I can give you my phone, my cell phone number. Anybody? Yeah, go ahead. Tell, tell, tell everybody. <laughs> it's 954-261-0804. That's good. my cell phone. That's wonderful. And your Instagram page is D Ernesto Beauty Lounge. Diaz and David apostrophe Ernesto Beauty Lounge. Oh, no, D Ernesto Beauty Lounge. Yeah, with the yeah. Diaz and David. That's great. I love you. You got great pictures here. Yes, I need to Wonderful upload pictures. more. I have so many pictures, but I, as I was telling you before, I need this girl that's going to come and help me with my Instagram page so I can upload a lot of my, my work. Yes, yes, please do that because you've got good stuff here, and I, I know everybody wants to see it. Wilton Where Manners. You, Wilton Wilton Man okay, you're Wilton Manners. Yes. So that's Andrew's where you're located? Centrally located. <laughs> Centrally located in Wilton Manors. That's good. Yes. Good for you. I, I wish you the best of luck, man. Thank I mean, you so much. I wish you the best for you. And you can come and come you. over for a haircut, man. I, I, I cut men's hair also, so. Yeah? Good. Yes. I'm going to need it, man. You're going to need I'm those, sure. they those call, clippers. Remember, they call me Ernesto the Besto. And he's Ernesto the Besto. I love it. I love it. You know what? It's not bragging if it's truth, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, take care. Thank Bye, you everybody. so much for your time, Ernesto. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. We'll talk soon. Bye. So I'm going to bring back uh, Neuron here and, uh, and see how she's doing. Neuron, what did you think about uh, Ernesto the Besto? What did you think about Ernesto, the besto? I thought he was absolutely delightful. What a nice personality, too. Yeah. 
I, I, I gotta go get help, you know? <laughs> Kelly, that Kelly's... Is- Kelly wants to know what's underneath my hat. <laughs> I've seen it. I know what's under there. <laughs> it's a whole lot of hair underneath this hat. I got to tell you, that's why I'm wearing it. <laughs> oh, you look great, John, really. Um, Callie, shout out to you, sweetie. I wish I could see you. Hopefully we'll see you on uh, John's feed one of these days. These things are actually a lot of fun, John. I enjoy the chance to talk to you, and I'm loving how you're exposing a lot of other bridal professionals to the community. That's fantastic. Thank you. I know and the bridal need it. Yeah, you know what? I thank you for thank you for typing in these little questions. You know, because sometimes you know. <laughs> the, yeah, what? I appreciate. Yes, I appreciate those comments that I can see. Please don't stop doing that because it helps me. You know, bring out more information from who it is that I'm talking to. I also realize that you are not a woman, and so some of these questions that a bride might have may not be something that acts, you know, that actually easily or um, intuitively would pop into your head. So, um, yes, I'll, I'll, I can to to help provide information uh, to you and to yes. your audience. That's so. You know, I try to think like a female. You know, I do my best to try to communicate with them, but I'm not very successful. Thankfully, I have a a patient wife that understands this and uh, she works with me. That's great. Yes. So, but anyways, we'll be in touch and uh, we'll definitely get together for the the next show on Friday at 12 o'clock. Absolutely. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, darling. Bye, Naran. Bye. Okay. So there you have it. We have, uh, a great show with uh, D. Ernesto, uh, Beauty Lounge. He does great hair. And if you can take a look at his Instagram page, it's fantastic. And uh, again, I want to invite uh, people who are in the dance industry, uh, in the wedding industry, to come on in, join the um, to join our conversation, ask some questions. Maybe we'll just bring you straight on and um, uh, we'll have a good time. Okay. Uh, my name is Jonathan from Melendrez, uh, Melendrez Dance Studios, and um, hope to see you on the next uh, live stream. Have a good day and please wear a mask. <laughs>